uh, the Islamic State, ISIS, has called on Muslims to poison food Kate Middleton buys at supermarkets. Or in a simpler term, they have called out a bounty on her. Yes, that's what it is. Kill her by poisoning her. Originally, when I posted this, I got this interesting question from a few people of why her? Uh, you know, she's not involved. She's not some anti-Sharia person. You know, why her? Fabulous question. Let me tell you why her. Organizations like CARE, ESNA, um, Muslim Association at universities or high schools or colleges, what they do is they come out and they tell you ISIS is some radical Islamic group who has hijacked Islam and is just barbaric and Islam has nothing to do with what they do. Now, what ISIS is trying to do is to override the lies of those so-called moderate organizations in the West. That's why they have to boost up their game. When they call themselves Islamic State, they are correct. They follow the Quran and they follow Muhammad and they follow the Hadith and they follow the Sharia. And this is what it is. What did Islam tell them to do? What are Muslims supposed to do? They're supposed to terrorize non-believers. Sharia part of it or Islamic part of it both say the same thing. There are, I believe, over 14 verses in Quran that says to terrorize non-believers. The most famous that I'm sure you all know about is chapter 8, verse 12. What does it say? When Allah was talking to the angels, Allah told the angels, Remember, I am with you. So stand strong by the believers and I will send terror to the heart of non-believers. So strike them on their neck and every fingertip. That's chapter 8, verse 12. When Allah himself will terrorize the hearts of non-believers. Then there is chapter 66, verse 9, where it repeats again, directly speaking to Muhammad, the prophet of Islam. And it says, O oh, prophet, terrorize the non-believers and kill them wherever you find them. These are the two most famous terrorizing orders in Quran, which makes it Islam. And I'm not going to even go into the hadith over hadith over God knows how many hadith are out there that tells the believers being Muslims to terrorize non-believers. Yes, Islamic State, ISIS is following Islam. No, they have not hijacked Islam. No, they have not misunderstood Quran. Their God is going to terrorize us as non-believers. So by logic, they will terrorize us by the order of their Allah. Their Allah told their perfect example of a man being Muhammad, their prophet, to terrorize non-believers. What better way to terrorize people to go after a high-profile, very well-loved, almost leader of a country? That, ladies and gentlemen, would be the flat-out reason why ISIS has issued a fatwa on Kate Middleton. That is the reason. And again, it is heartbreaking to know that she's being a target because the government and mainstream media is covering up. So ISIS has to step up their game and go after an innocent, lovely person. Let's put aside who Kate Middleton is. Just as a person, she is a daughter of someone. She's a wife of someone. She's a mother. She's an innocent person living her life. Is she perfect? No, neither am I, neither are you. But does she really deserve this terrorizing moments? Does she really deserve to be terrorized, not just for herself, for her kids? Under Islam, in Quran, Allah said, if you do not leave your house to go commit jihad in my name, you are not my favorite. ISIS is doing the same thing. ISIS is making sure that the moderate so-called Muslims are not covering up anymore. ISIS is making sure that people who have their eyes open 
will realize they will go after anyone they can. And they're done with a couple of small random people. They are going to publicly issue fatwas on leaders, on big profiles. And if that's not terrorizing, I guess I'm the only one who's terrorized out of this news. As much as there are so many pressing issues going on, trust me, Islamization of every single country should be on top of the list. How many more armed guards are we going to add? How many more of us are going to go on their ground so we can stay alive to continue educating the public? Why can we just all come out and call it what it is? This is Islamization. I have said it before. I will continue on saying it. Islam is convert or kill. There is more than enough evidence out there for anybody to see it. Now, if anyone's deciding by choice not to see it, every single drop of blood shed by Muslims is on your hands. This is 2019. There is enough evidence, there is enough information, there are enough websites to, to go and get educated. If you're still turning the other chick and letting innocent people be terrorized or killed, you're part of the problem. Open the Quran and read it. Watch videos of ex-Muslims like myself dissecting the Quran and Hadith for you.